Hey guys, so as I said last week, I'm going to LeakyCon, which is finally this month. At LeakyCon they have this thing called the Lit Panel, which is where they've invited authors to come and talk to us, I guess. And this year they've got 17 authors coming. So to prepare myself to meet all these authors, I decided I would read at least one book by each author. And unfortunately I couldn't find books by, I think, five authors, so I have... 12, well, 13 books, because I've got two for Maureen Johnson. As I got them two days ago, on the first, and so far I have finished three books, almost. Finished two and three quarters, I guess. And I thought I'd talk about those books that I've read and tell you guys what they're all about. Okay, so the first book I read was um, The Boyfriend List by E. Lockhart, which I really loved, and I'm hoping to get the next book out at some stage. Um, when I was reading it, I kind of I connected a lot with the main character, which I know a lot of people do with lots of books, but for some reason I wasn't sure if that was a good thing with this one, because it was about a girl who pretty much lost everything and ended up having to go to therapy. And by everything, I literally mean like everything. She lost a boyfriend, best friends, and did lots of things, and yeah, her life basically had a downward spir spiral for about a week. But it was really good, and I really enjoyed it, and I would definitely recommend it to anyone who's interested in reading it. It's, and it's only about 200 pages, so it's a short read, but if that's what you're into, maybe you'd like it. But the second book I ended up reading was The Chronicles of Vladimir Todd, the first one, by Heather Brewer, so that would be the cover. And it was also a really good book. I really enjoyed it. It was about a boy who's in 8th grade, and he's a vampire, but not, like, he was born to a human and a vampire, and his dad did a lot of bad things to the vampire community, and... He had vampires coming after him trying to basically punish him for his father's mistakes and he didn't really know a lot about anything that was happening because his father had passed away before he'd had the chance to explain it to him. It was really good and it's also a series so if you're interested in vampire things that's not Twilight then I would recommend it to you and you can read the other ones as well. The book I'm reading now and I'm almost finished with is Rhymes with Witches by Lauren Miracle, I think. Not sure. <laughs> and so far it's really good. It's about a girl who wants to be with like that popular crowd, so and would do anything for it. And so far that's pretty much what she's done and she's just been accepted into the group and I'm guessing more stuff's about to happen soon that either goes against that or agrees with it. I'm not sure. But I'm really enjoying it, and if you'd like to read it, I would recommend it to you as well. It, it's kind of like witchcraft, I think, some parts in it. It's kind of weaved in and out of the storyline. But it's a really good read, and I enjoyed it. Well, I'm enjoying it. I'm sure I'll enjoy it to the end as well. So I've got ten more books to read after I finish Rhymes with Witches, and if you follow me on Twitter, you can see all my updates and my how I feel about that as well. Just thought I'd give you guys a rundown on how I feel in the books I've read so far, which all of them have been really good, and I'm really excited to meet the authors because they definitely have a talent for writing, and it'd be kind of interesting to see how they got into becoming a published author because it's something I would like to do. But the books are really good. I haven't had any problems with any of them so far, which is definitely a good sign, so I'd say definitely check them out, and if you want to know what other authors are going, if you just go to the LeakyCom website and then click on the Portland tab, if you scroll down far enough you'll see all the authors that are going, so, and then find, go to a bookstore or a library and find the books that they've written and read them. I went to my li local library, and that's where I got all the books, just because I can't afford to get every single book as of now. But, you know, it's something, so. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to LeakyCon. Like, I, it still hasn't quite hit me yet that I'm going, so. I'm sure it will eventually. It's, it's getting there. 
I think once the once I've got my plane tickets, it's definitely going to be settled in that I'm going. So until next time. <laughs>